Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Better tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to detail the medic buildings. And guys, these are all the medic buildings. Uh, they include the practitioner, uh, pharmacy, and uh, the hospital, and the medic cover. So if you guys search up medic in the search bar, you will find all of them right there, including the medic cover for the hospital. So um, I'm going to start by showing you guys how to detail the hospital building because that is the largest. What you're going to want to start by doing is control B and then control N the hospital sign to the hospital building. That way, that way you can get it nice and evenly centered on the building. If you do it by hand it can be kind of hard and kind of tricky. Now pretty much this outside doesn't need much detail. Um, one thing that I thought you probably could do is you could put a propane tank, maybe one or two, and it wouldn't really look out of place just because it is a place for cars to pull through. And it wouldn't be super out of place to have a propane tank there. Besides that, you really don't need to do much on the outside. Getting on to the inside, um, you will need a register here. I guess you probably don't have to have a register, but uh, since generally you do pay for things at a hospital, you generally pay for your treatment it is a good idea to have a register or two here. So I'm just going to copy paste that. Obviously I'm not going to take very much time to center that because there's a lot to do today. So um, the rest of this area is pretty cramped so I really wouldn't put anything else in here like waiting chairs or anything. You could put a couple chairs back here but again that is going to be super cramped. You're going to have to jump over them to get through this area. But this area right in here is pretty empty. And it does look, it's super awkward, truthfully, because you just walk into the building and there's this weird, awkward, empty room that's not really large enough to put much, except for chairs. So I would suggest putting some chairs in here, you know, obviously randomize them, make them look natural. And you can do pretty much the exact same thing on the other side. And, you know, really don't matter about, it doesn't really matter that you do the exact same thing on both sides just because there's not much else to do with this space. So go ahead, fill those up. Obviously, I just put three. You could put four. You could put two. You could put one. It really depends on, you know, how, how cramped you want it to be. So moving into the back of the hospital, you've got three sections. Um, well, maybe four. Yeah, four. You've got doctor sections over here, emergency in this room, surgery in that room, and medicine over here. I'm going to start by doing the medicine room just because it's pretty simple. Now, um, we're going to be using similar techniques that we're going to use in some of these other buildings, at least for this medicine room. I'm going to put, I'm going to use some of these shelves because generally that is a good way to store medicine. So, I'm going to take this shelf, I think it's number three. Yeah, shelf number three. I'm going to put it against the back wall, obviously line it up, and I'm going to roughly put it in the center. Now there's a couple things you could do with this space. I would not uh, suggest that you use shelf number two, I think it is. The long one that you find in grocery stores. Uh, yeah, so this is shelf number one. I would not use this one in that area because it, it really requires a lot of space on either side for you to get around it and there's not that much space in this room. What I would rather suggest is that you do something like this. Either line the shelves with uh, these shelf number threes or uh, fill the area with shelf number one. So like for example putting it against the back wall and making sure there's enough room around the sides of it. So this way you can access it from all three sides and you know you can still fit a lot of medicine and item drops like that into them. So really you guys could do either of these. You could just fill the entire wall with these shelves or fill some of the area with this. You could even put a table in here and maybe a chair. So, for example, somebody's sorting pills or something. Who knows? But yeah, that's pretty much a good way to fill this room. And yeah, so this is pretty much just a storage area for like antibiotics, vitamins, purifying tablets, stuff like that. So let's move on to, let's go to the doctor's section. Because I'm leaving emergency and surgery as the last two because they are the most complicated. So in the doctor's area, pretty much all we need to do is create some sort of meeting area for the doctor to meet like a patient or something. So uh, something we can do right away that will fit is we're going to make this pretty casual. So I'm going to put a couch, uh, I think it's couch number two down. 
and I'm also going to use one of these tables. I'm going to use table wood number four. And I'm going to make just a coffee table on the side. And since there's a doctor in here, it's probably a good idea to make some sort of desk for him. So I'm going to use table wood number one. I will copy that because we might use it later. And I'm just going to set up a basic desk here. And obviously, you guys can scale this to whatever size you want. And you don't have to have uh, the snap rotation and stuff. You can have it a little disheveled if you want as well. So I'm going to move this a little closer. And I do have some computer gear here because, of course, as a doctor, they should be able to access the Internet, look up databases, stuff like that, for information on diseases, you know, whatever they need to do. So I'm going to put a computer here. I'll put the desktop part underneath and move it to the side a little bit for leg room and that's pretty good um one or two other things we could do because there's a lot of empty space in there is we could put some filing cabinets those rarely look out of place especially in a doctor's office so I'm just gonna rotate those move them away from the wall a bit and make a big stack and just continually copy pasting those filling up the space pretty much as much as I can just because there's really nothing else to put in this space um, another thing you could do is put a couple chairs again just because um, you could have clients sitting in here you know talking to the doctor or something like that so I, I would put a couple chairs in here you could even put another couch um, on this other side for the client to be more comfortable I guess either way you know this fills up the space pretty nicely okay so let's move on to the emergency room so there's this single bed here bed number four and this is gonna be the most useful thing for the emergency room I am in it right yes okay so this is pretty much gonna be the operating bed and sadly there is no operating table this is the closest thing you can get to that and so pretty much in this room somewhere you pr pretty much need to have one of these now I'm placing it against this wall and leaving enough room for doctors to get on all sides of it you guys can place it over there or over here really doesn't matter you can place it in the very center of the room even it just depends on how you want to arrange the space because this is a pretty large room and you gotta fill it up so always next to your operating table you're gonna wanna have science number four you really don't have to but it's very classic just to have like the heart rate monitor right beside it and you could range it so that it's facing away like this or you could make it facing like that it doesn't really matter I'm gonna snug this one up against the wall just a bit and still have it right beside you know the patient's bed so you know that looks pretty nice for a surgery area but we still have a lot of room left so what I like to do with this space is I like to use these counters. I generally like to use counter number three and number four just because they're nice and gray and they look a little more professional but you can also use the wood ones as well there's really nothing against that. So obviously since there's so much space I'm gonna start putting some right here and I think I'll probably make two sets of counters one against this wall and one against that wall and the one against the farther wall will have a sink included just because since it's a surgery room the people that are operating on the person will definitely need to have clean hands so I would definitely include a sink somewhere in this room so let's go grab that sink and place it down I'll place it generally around here of course I'm going to use the control B and control N again to arrange these perfectly I'm going to snug it up against the wall and we shall copy paste the rest of those and just because there's a lack of lack of anything to put in here I'm gonna make it pretty much fill the entire wall there's really nothing it looks pretty natural anyway so you know even though it's a little repetitive it looks pretty good so um, something I forgot that you can definitely add is a divider these are actually really nice for these type of areas so there are two types of dividers one is uh, taller of course you guys can scale these so it really doesn't matter but divider number two is generally a little nicer it looks a little more realistic than divider number one so what you can do is you can sort of 
shield this operating area with dividers and you know it looks pretty nice actually of course you guys can rotate these a bit make them look a little more natural obviously try to have the ends connected somewhat and that actually looks pretty nice so yeah this would definitely work you could make more dividers so for example you could put a divider here sort of blocking it off even more or I mean you really don't have to have that either this pretty much just shields the patient from the door so anybody walking in won't see them immediately and you know that would be a good spot to hide a zombie as well you know just you know if you wanna maybe have a jump scare there um, yeah so this fills up the room pretty nicely and it's pretty simple there's lots of spaces for you know some sort of medicine bandages rags suture kits all that stuff in and around the counters and cupboards and of course you could have some other stuff maybe like vaccines or antibiotics around the bed area so let's move on to the surgery now pretty much truthfully guys the surgery and emergency rooms can pretty much be exactly the same I am gonna arrange them a bit differently just to keep it from being repetitive but essentially you're gonna have the same parts in each of them so I just copied and pasted the bed and the science together just because you know they're gonna be next to each other anyway just to save a little time I'm also going to use the dividers in this room because it is a surgery and I will leave enough room for the doctor or the player whoever it tends to be to get in beside the bed just so there's enough room it's not super cramped also guys if you make places super cramped it tends to glitch out the zombies a little bit like their navigation gets a little messed up so it is a good idea to leave enough room for zombies and players to navigate otherwise they can start getting really glitchy they can get they can go through stuff they start like going up and down really fast it's pretty weird so I'm gonna do something very similar in this room um, I'm gonna add some counters I think just to change it up a little bit I'm also gonna add a table uh, probably a metal table and I'm gonna put a computer on it as well so let me arrange these counters. I'm actually going to put them on this side of the room. And I'm not going to put a, a sink in this room. I could. It wouldn't be out of place. It would make a lot of sense, actually. But I'm just not going to do it just so that we're not completely repetitive. So I'm going to put a table in this corner. And I'll put a chair. And I'll get a computer on there. Maybe just a laptop for this one just so that we don't use same repetitive uh, computers all throughout the building. Obviously I'm going to move this aside a little bit so that you can have some room to access that. And I'm going to grab the laptop here. Apparently you can't click on it. you got to highlight that one because it's so small. So there we go. we got a laptop there. Um, something else you can do to make it a little more fancy. I'm going to extend this a little more is you can put some science instruments so I do have some science instruments here you can put some of these in that room now obviously there's limited space on the counters I placed down so it might look kind of weird to put all of them but we will see how we can arrange it I'm gonna put the test tubes right here in the middle just because they're large really guys it doesn't matter that much how you arrange this um, as long as you make it look natural not super lined up it'll look fine so you know it's always good to have these extra small details even though they really don't do much you can walk through them you can break them you know it's just something else to brighten up the room in terms of spawns for this room um, you know maybe you could have some uh, metal scrap or cloth over here because we got a computer set up obviously some sort of medical equipment over here and possibly over here in the surgery area now this still is kind of bare um, something else you could do I'm gonna grab one of these shelves move it through the wall and you can fill this area a little bit more you can just put shelves here and there truthfully placing a shelf on the wall is a really good area is a really good way to fill up space just because it looks pretty natural and you know obviously you can put a lot of items and useful stuff on them for the player to find so yeah I'm just gonna do that to fill up the rest of that space and that looks pretty good so that's pretty much it for this building obviously there's two others and you know this is looking pretty nice well very well detailed you know obviously you have some zombie spawns in there so it's not completely empty and stuff 
but you know that's pretty much all you need for that I'm gonna move these over and let's get started on the pharmacy because uh, the practitioner's office is very very similar so just like this other building we're going to grab a register and definitely have a register in these ones because it is a pharmacy and you know pharmacies people buy stuff from them so you will need a register and we're going to spread those out a little bit that may be too much but it's all depending on your preference now for these we're pretty much going to lay them out almost like a grocery store so I'm going to take shelf number two and uh, place it in here and pretty much just space it however you want to space it of course you guys can use other shelves but classically you see this one in this room so I'm gonna make a gap actually in between those but I'm gonna make a second one and that's pretty much all you really need to fill up this area you really don't need much more um, something else because there was a little bit of space by the wall I'm gonna take cooler number one and some guys in real life some medicines and stuff are actually refrigerated they need do need to be refrigerated to keep them from going bad so you know having a cooler here is not out of place and it actually looks kinda fancy so you know that could be a plus for your pharmacy shop so I'm gonna put two of those just to fill up the space a little nice nicer than it was before and that looks pretty good for this first room obviously you guys are gonna put medicine bandages cloth stuff like that on these shelves so in terms of the back room it's pretty simple as well we're gonna be using pretty much only shelves back there so I'm gonna use this uh, shelf number one definitely uh, more of a harder a hardcore type shelf more for equipment so you could put stuff like suture kits med packs stuff like that back here as well or you could just stick to the classic you know medical equipment like bandages rags obviously I'd probably have a mix of both mix them in you know have a good amount of variety in back here alright so in terms of spacing for these guys it's pretty much just filling the space however you want uh, you can also put some of these other shelves against the wall uh, shelf number three and actually the way I arrange this is okay uh, it would definitely work it does waste a little space in the middle of the room because really these shelves can be accessed from all sides so maybe an alternate setup you could do is putting them here somewhere in the middle of the room and then lining the back wall with these other shelf number three it really just depends on you know how you want to set this up so that's pretty much it for this building obviously this one was a little simpler um, pretty much just a lot of shelves and a few registers now of course uh, before I forget we do have the light here pretty much for all of these buildings you can put a light on the ceiling um, it, it will not look out of place in these buildings obviously it's more of a professional type light so not something you want to put in a house necessarily but it would definitely work in this sort of circumstance and pretty much guys these lights will work pretty much in almost any sort of shop or grocery store something like that now of course they didn't line those up perfectly so you know you can line them up however you want you can orientate them like this as well or at some other odd angle if you really want to so let's move on to the practitioner this by far is the most chill out of all of the medic shops so this one actually has a nice lobby for people to relax in generally what I've seen is you can put couches here you could also put the other type of couch uh, couch number two here as well and you generally want to have some sort of table here as well so I'm going to use table wood number two and it's pretty nice because it's a like a coffee table almost pretty relaxed and you know in order to decorate that a little more we can put newspapers on there uh, we could also put notes you know obviously you can distribute those through your map however you like we could also put uh, chess here as well now of course there can be some gaps right here between the wall um, feel free to place some sort of small side table there and you know that'll that'll work out pretty well obviously you are have to space it appropriately and of course you can put chess you could put a lamp on top of there you could put books you know you can pretty much do anything like that in this area and I'm gonna make another 
another couch and place it down just to fill up that space a little better. Okay, so this is pretty good. It's pretty simple, but you know, it definitely works. Once again, we're going to steal some registers from this building over here. And you know, pretty much all of these are going to use registers. So make sure you have them on hand. And I'm only going to put the registers on this side. So this is going to be the checkout area. This place over here, I think I'm going to make more of a call center. So I'm going to put uh, the telephone there. And I'm going to put it right on their counter. Maybe, I don't know, you can have them faced either way. You could have them faced the opposite way. It really just depends on what your preference is. Now behind these counters, I would suggest having some sort of chairs for the people sitting there to sit on just because uh, standing all day at this sort of job is kind of unrealistic that would be pretty terrible so definitely put some sort of chairs there uh, I'm gonna put at least one over here as well I'm gonna of course make it look a little natural so it's not gonna be like directly in front and yeah that's pretty good so you know this they could use a little bit more um, Something that's good to put in these areas is also shelf number three. As I said, you can pretty much place these against any flat wall, and they look pretty good. Uh, something else you can place in this area is filing cabinets. Um, I'm going to use files number two just because I haven't used it yet. Let me go grab that really quick. Yeah, we're going to use files number two. And you could put files both there and there, but just to mix it up a bit and show you guys all the options, I'm going to have shelves on the one side and files over here. So yeah, definitely in these medical type areas, files are a good idea. So there we go, we got filing cabinets, obviously I didn't you know, center them or anything, but you guys can do that on your own time. All we have is these other two rooms. So generally how I've seen them decorated is one of these is generally an office where the doctor or somebody meets with a patient or, you know, something like that. Usually you don't see the operating room and the bed sort of thing. I've also seen one of these rooms usually, at max one of them, as being a storage area similar to the back of this area. So, you know, one of them I've seen that generally can be decorated using these shelves. Obviously, there's not that much room in here, but you can pack quite a bit of shelves in here and have, you know, a lot of items spawning in here as well. So I'm just going to put a couple of these shelves down, and I'm going to copy this one only because I don't want to block up the door. And, you know, I can pretty much just leave it like that. That looks pretty good, and, you know, that fills up the space pretty well, especially if we put item drops in here. It'll be a nice room. So in terms of that other room, I'm going to place a table down for a desk. I'm going to have to grab a chair from somewhere. I'm going to orientate the table this way. And, you know, I might stretch it out a little bit, guys. Feel free to do this as much as you want in order to fit the space. It really depends on your preference. Okay, so I'm going to grab a chair from here. And, you know, place it behind the desk, sort of like, you know, somebody's obviously sitting there. I'm going to get some other chairs to be in front, sort of like customer chairs. You know, you got like a family of people sitting down talking to the practitioner or the doctor or whoever's in-house at the time. I am going to give the doctor a, a TV, or not a TV, a computer, computer number one. And I'll use this chunky one. Guys, in terms of what computers you use, it doesn't really matter. Just choose one that you like. And I will move this off to the side a little bit. And rotate that a little bit more. So, this is pretty good for this area. Uh, something else you could add. Obviously, we can add more filing cabinets. These are pretty much never out of place in a doctor's office. You can put them there. Uh, something else you could have, I could have done is place them back here as well. Obviously, you want to snug these up to the wall and make more than one of them. That generally looks pretty good. Okay. So that's pretty good for this room. Um, you know, you could add another telephone here. Maybe if you didn't have such a large computer on the desk, that would have been fine. There's not much more to this. Um, something I did forget to place out is a clock. Of course, in all these buildings, having a clock here or there is always a good idea just makes it more realistic 
and you know it's never really out of place it's always good to spruce up the walls make them look you know more realistic especially in you know these sort of buildings with you know doctor's office stuff like that a clock is kind of important you know keeps them to keep track of time in terms of the pharmacy having a clock in here is not really necessary might even look out of place just because it's more of a store instead of you know a walk-in doctor's office so anyway guys that's pretty much it uh, for this unturned map editor tutorial um, there's only a few items I didn't use for example poster obviously you guys can place that wherever you want on the walls wherever you think it fits that's just another one of those things it's a small detail sort of thing it's not really necessary but you can use it in terms of these televisions uh, generally television one won't fit anywhere but you could use television number two and have it sort of in the lobby here somewhere you could place it on this side table and have it sort of as like entertainment for kids I know I've seen that before if you really wanted to have like a lazy doctor you know in one of these back offices you could put the large television on there as well that would just sort of suggest that the doctor isn't doing his job and is more of just watching TV. But yeah, it's pretty much up to you guys, and hopefully this helps you out. So anyway guys, hopefully that gives you a good idea of what you can do and what you need to do to decorate these areas. Uh, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later.